Welcome to the EFS survey tutorial for beginners. This video series will show you the way to a finished survey project in 8 steps. This video covers step 1, how to create a new survey project. On the EFS start page there is a button new project at the top left. Not surprisingly, this is where you can create a new project. Let's first create a new folder where we then save the new project. First click on Projects and then Create Folder. Give the folder a name, if necessary a description. Click Create, that's all. Now we will create the actual project. With one click an input mask is opened in which we need to enter some information. Let's go through the fields one after another. Enter a title for your project. An asterisk indicates fields that must be filled in. In the line project type you can choose whether you wish to create an anonymous or personalized survey. Anyone with a link to the survey can participate in anonymous surveys. In contrast, in order to participate in a personalized survey you need an invitation. Later on in another tutorial we will show you how to send invitations and manage the participants. For the questionnaire layout, the responsive layout is selected by default when you create your first project. This way your questionnaire will be displayed on all devices in an optimal way, from smartphones to desktop computers. In case you created your own layout template, this can be selected under My Layouts. Now you can select the folder where your project should be stored. By entering that information, your project is already created. However, EFS Survey offers additional specific settings that are optional. You can choose which user groups should have access to the project. In the next step, you can set the language for the survey messages. The survey messages are inscriptions for example for the progress bar and buttons, but they are also the messages for incorrect entries and other system messages. In this case, let's select English. You can change the name of the author, enter the names of co-authors and add a description of the project. For automatic error notifications, for example for runtime errors, you can include a list of email addresses. If desired, EFS Survey can inform you of the approaching end of your survey's field time. Last but not least, you can configure which status the project should have after it has been created. When you create your first project, Survey Compiled is configured by default. As soon as your survey is to be launched, you must activate the project. The project is generated by clicking Create. You are then redirected to the survey menu, where you can begin to build your questionnaire. In the next step, you set up your questionnaire and enter your questions. Watch the next tutorial to see how it works. Good luck with your project!